James Kaufman, World News Report Today, August 20th, 2024. God bless you and yours no matter where you are. Please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that bell for critical future updates. NASA spots mysterious object moving at 1 million miles per hour. Citizen scientists collaborating with NASA's Backyard Worlds project have discovered a unique hypervelocity object, CYS J1249, that is rapidly exiting the Milky Way. Powered by infrared images from NASA's WISE mission, this find includes contributions from amateur astronomers who identified its unusual speed and composition. This is despite NASA spends tens of billions of taxpayers' dollars on accomplishing this without help. The object, possibly a low-mass star or brown dwarf, showcases a rare makeup indicating an ancient origin. Theories about its high velocity involve interactions with supernovae or black holes, suggesting a dynamic past within the cosmos. Most familiar stars peacefully orbit the center of the Milky Way. However, citizen scientists working on NASA's backyard worlds, Planet Nine Project, have helped discover an object moving so fast that it will escape the Milky Way's gravity and shoot into intergalactic space. This hypervelocity object is the first such object found with a mass similar to or less than that of a small star. Backyard Worlds uses images from NASA's WISE, or Wide Field Infrared Explorer, mission, which mapped the sky in infrared light from 2009 to 2011. It was reactivated as NEOWISE, Near Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, in 2013 and retired on August 8, 2024. A stellar breakthrough by citizen scientists. Wow! A few years ago, longtime backyard world citizen scientists, Martin Kravatnik, Thomas P. Bicklow, and Dan Kesselden spotted a fine, fast-moving object called Squeezy J1049, marching across their screens in the WISI images. Follow-up observations with several ground, BAS telescopes help scientists confirm the discovery and characterize the object. These citizen scientists are now co-authors on the team's study about this discovery, published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. I can't describe the level of excitement, said Kabatnik, a citizen scientist from Nuremberg, Germany. When I first saw how fast it was moving, I was convinced it must have been reported already. Cubby-wise J1249 is zooming out of the Milky Way at about 1 million miles per hour, but it also stands out for its low mass, which makes it difficult to classify as a celestial object. It could be a low mass star, or if it doesn't steadily fuse hydrogen in its core, it would be considered a brown dwarf, putting it somewhere between a gas giant planet and a star. Ordinary brown dwarfs are not that rare. Backyard worlds. Planet Nine volunteers have discovered more than 4,000 of them but none of the others are known to be on their way out of the galaxy. This new object has yet another unique property. Data obtained with the WM Keck Observatory in Mauna Kea, Hawaii, show that it has much less iron and other metals than other stars and brown dwarfs. This unusual composition suggests that Kwai's J1249 is quite old, likely from one of the first generations of stars in our galaxy. Why does this object move at such high speed? One hypothesis is that CWY's J149 originally came from a binary system with a white dwarf, which exploded as a supernova when it pulled off too much material from its companion. Another possibility is that it came from a tightly bound cluster of stars called a globular cluster, and a chance meeting with a pair of black holes sent it soaring away. When a star encounters a black hole binary, the complex dynamics of this three-body interaction can toss that star right out of the globular cluster, says Kyle Kramer, incoming assistant professor in UC San Diego's Department of Astronomy and Astrophysics. Scientists will look more closely at the elemental composition of CWI's JU249 for clues about which of these scenarios is more likely. And now let's take a look at what he's really talking about. Here's our solar system and our star, Earth, the third rock from the actual solar disk, were part of the Milky Way, a very small galaxy and part of the universe. We're part of the local group of galaxies, 
that is then part of a local supercluster of galaxies located in a very small part of the universe. Now, it's been theorized that we have universes above us, below us, to the left of us, to the right of us, in front of us, and behind us. And not only do these galaxies merge, which causes tons of problems, so do the universes themselves. With that said, guys, this one is bailing from the Milky Way here and headed out to deep space in between galaxies, uh, in between a local group and then in between a local super cluster somewhere in the universe. God bless. Share, subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.